it's Dr. Brian here. I want to talk a little bit today about thyroid tests. We've had lots of patients who come in with thyroid problems and they feel like the testing that they have done hasn't been adequate. A lot of times they're just checking their T3 levels or their T4 levels and they're saying, you know, your T3 levels are not high enough. We need to increase those so they're given some medication. But they're not long term seeing health changes. They're not seeing benefits. Oftentimes they start taking the medication and actually health conditions sometimes get worse. So today I wanted to go through some of the tests that you can have your medical doctor do and actually assess the health of your thyroid. Um, the first test is looking at TSH. TSH is basically thyroid stimulating hormone. It's released from your pituitary gland. It tells your thyroid to release T4. If you're eating too much soy, TSH can be dropped down. That can cause problems. Or if you have toxic issues, like if you have lots of silver amalgams in your teeth. Um, the next test that a lot of people have done is T4 testing. So in your body, your body takes T4 and it converts to T3 in your liver. T3 is the activated form. The crazy thing is that only about 60% of your T4 is actually active when it's released. Another 20% has to be activated by your good bacteria in your intestines. So you have to have a lot of probiotics in there. Eating fermented foods helps with that. But most people never have the proper testing done, so they don't realize how the body's being shortchanged. Even imagine 20% more energy or 20% more function in your body. So T4 levels are important. T3 levels are also important to have that checked. Also looking at T3 uptake. That lets you know basically how well your body's holding on to that T3. Your body takes that T3 and it goes into your cells and it turns on your genes for metabolism, for burning energy, for burning weight, building health, energy levels. It's really, really crucial. So you need to know those numbers. Reverse T3 is actually a measurement of toxicity in the body showing how the body is excreting um, and able to get rid of um, basically the T3 part that's toxic. So for reverse T3, ideally that's 20% of your T4. Um, it's really important that that is able to be eliminated by your liver. If not, your liver can get all stagnated and it can throw off a lot of things. Um, thyroid binding globulin uh, talks about, again, how well your body binds to it. And the last test is a thyroid antibody test to see if you have Hashimoto's disease, to see if your body's having an autoimmune reaction, an illness that's causing your thyroid not to work. If it's an autoimmune problem, there's a different route to naturally help with that. So this is just some basic information about thyroid tests. If you're suffering with a thyroid problem, you've never had any of the more advanced testing done, you need to write those down, talk with your healthcare provider, get the test done, bring them in so we can help walk you through the process of getting things corrected naturally. Have an awesome day, and be healthy.